If you click on this video, then understandably you want to make more money, but unfortunately most of the web designers are trying to go about in the wrong way. So what they're trying to do is uh, going in Figma and making sure that everything is aligned properly. They try to move every element by pixels and try that in thinking that it will make difference. They try to make maybe choose another color for the buttons, maybe choose another shade maybe choose a shadow that they want to add and they spend hours and hours every day on moving the pixels they try to learn the basics of designs it's important if you want your website to be at the top of dribble then by all means go ahead and spend hours and months and weeks on trying to master that art of visual design but if you want to make more money there's actually three stages for that and the first stage is where you actually make zero dollars and this is the stage that our most web designers are, more than 50%, meaning majority of web designers, anyone who starts ever a business or start new side hustles, they do not make any money at all. And the second stage is actually when you start making money is, uh, but it's not a lot. It's like from 100 to $200, you can make that. And I'd consider that the web design is your side hustle, it's not your main thing. You try the thing, you try to make more money, but you don't have a lot of clients. Maybe you have one client a month that give you small tasks, like maybe some graphic design or maybe some small website that is not really valued at much. And the problem here is that you try to do a lot of design work. You're trying to do all the things that I explained, like moving the colors, trying to align everything. Maybe the client says, oh, I don't like this alignment. Can we move it a little bit down? And you move it a little bit down. Maybe he says, I don't like this font and you change the font. Maybe he says, I don't like this picture here and you have to move it somewhere else. So this is the stage where you actually do the graphic, the visual design, where you spend a lot of energy on the things that are not really that much important. And the only solution here that I would give you is switch to template design work. So I've made a lot of videos on my channel on how to actually use the template, how to take a template and customize it into something that looks like this, take a template and customize it that looks like this. So it's a very easy process that I've gone through many times on this channel. I will show it a little bit today also. But yeah, so this is very simple. And this is the second stage. If you're on this stage and if you're earning a few hundred dollars a month, but you want to move past that, you have to start using templates and it's not as hard as it seems. The only thing that you need is go to Google, type Framer Marketplace, click the first link and then you have the access to all of the Framer templates, which is more than 2000 currently. So you can find a template for any, absolutely any project, whether you're building something for a portfolio, whether you're building a SaaS website, you have to figure out the category. And once you figure out the category, for example, let's say I have a client who do AI PDF, so something related with documents. I just click a random website and I wanna show you an example. So here we have a website that doesn't look particularly good, nothing special about it. They have some interactions, they have some videos here, they have some uh, tabs, which is good, some animations, which is also good, but the UI, doesn't look really impressive. It doesn't stand out much. They have just check boxes here, which is uh, not really a great solution for a SaaS website where there is tons and tons of competitors. There's a, a hundred of different document AI website that have much better design and can give a first impression, make a first impression much better than this website. So what you would do here is you would go to Framer Marketplace and you would, instead of building it from scratch, you would look for similar colors and from similar uh, structure that this website have. So what we can see, they have purple color and they have this center aligned structure with the headline at the top, description button and some picture here. So I would look something similar here. This website wouldn't work because it has green colors, which is would be harder to customize. This website uh, wouldn't work because it has gradients, which is orange, which would, if you don't have a lot of experience with design, would also be hard to customize, change all of that because it's not vector, it is raster, so it's much harder. So what you would want to do is look at least similar colors. So if it's a blue, it's much easier to make it purple than green to purple. So I would look for a website that looks similar. If you look at here, it has similar structures. So it has, a, if I open it here, it has a headline, it has a description, and it has a similar structure that this website has. 
so it's much easier to customize for me. So what I would do is just bring this website over to a Chrome browser and then use the plugin HTML to Figma to make sure that it's 148 40 pixels and then just capture full page. It will scroll through the whole page, take all the sections, take all the elements that I would need and then I can open it Figma and just bring it over to Figma very easily. So then I would just go to Figma and uh, use the plugin plugins HTML to Figma here and then just bring it over here to make sure that it's in frame or here. So once I brought it over, I'll have all the canvas here. I have access to all the sections. I can edit it. I can move it here. So what then I would do is go to the website and just literally copy all the text that they have here. So chat with documents would be the first line. And then we would have the second line which says get instant answers. So I just copy that and place it into Figma here. The same I would do with the description, maybe a little bit shorter because uh, I like when there is not a lot of text on the website. So I'd remove this line and move it a little bit down. For the buttons, I think that I like that it's animated because when you do redesign, you don't want just to change the colors, change just the structure, the text. It's important to actually improve some of the conversion mechanics. So as you can see here, they have this button animated. So if I would make it not animated, this would probably down the conversions from what they have right now. And as you can see on this website, the button is not animated. So what I would do is go to Google again and type Framer Components and open the first link which has many many beautiful free component which is the main thing. So for example as you can see this button here it's metallic 3 button interaction in Framer. So it looks really good and I like how it looks like. So you can remix the project and you can copy it to Framer and then you would have this button. And also with this image you can find a similar template that has some kind of mockup in here. So if I go here, uh, you can see that, for example, this template has some kind of mockup. I can just, uh, and it's also free. So I can take it, I can open it in Framer and I can copy it to my website and I don't have to pay anything for that. So once I have all of this section customized, maybe some other section that I have here, I can also customize, maybe put instead of, uh, as you can see on this website, they have just simple uh, checkboxes. Uh, as you can see, checkboxes, which is not really good. So I would place all of these icons instead of checkboxes. Maybe keep the same structure as they have here. So for, for other section, I would place the screenshot, maybe place some videos in this section in here. But for this section, I would keep it as simple as it is. So we have three bullet points and I would keep the same. Maybe just remove these three bullet points. So don't be afraid to change the structure when you do the redesign. It's okay. The client will not say anything if you, if you can see that you improve the structure. And yeah, then you just move it a little bit up. It's totally fine to change the elements, to rearrange the elements because most of the client's website are was not built by professional designers. They were just put together, maybe using some template components, stuff like that. But this website is professionally built by designers. So you can keep the same structure of this website, but just optimize it for the client content. And don't be afraid to, again, uh, change the client content to fit this template, not to fit this template uh, to client content. That's really important. So once you did that, you can actually send it to the client and send him the invoice, take money and stuff like that. Another tool that I've been using to fast track my website building is Grayblocks, and they have components for Figma, Framer and Webflow. I'm interested in specifically Framer, so I'm going to open that. And let's say I want to create another option for the client. So one option would be this here section and I want to give him an option so he can choose something else. So what I would do is just look for the similar <clears throat> style uh, here sections that I like. So for example, this is really minimalistic. I can place the screenshot of the app here. It has similar style and I think it looks good. So I'm just gonna copy it in here and place it in a framer here. So let me just place it and look for another section. So another section we have here is uh, built for professional. So a few links. And for that, I would actually click the feature section here. So we have the features. I like that they have all of different sections and yeah, so here I can find three different, three or four different links. So for example, we have here three, but I can easily duplicate it to make it four. 
So I will copy it in here and let's just copy it for Framer. Open our website where we paste it and try to place it in here. Inserting internal comp external components. So I'm just going to move it down. And here we have two sections that I can customize for the client very easily. I can change the, all of the elements here on link instance. So I'm able to change all of the elements. It also has all of the responsive options. And now I can start changing uh, anything that I want. If you want to try gray blocks, click the link down in the description and you get a discount to get access to all of these beautiful pre-made components in Framer, Webflow, as well as Figma. So this is the second stage, but the third stage is actually when you want to make way more money than that, maybe say like 5,000. If you want to make $5,000 and uh, then you would have to start doing one more thing, which is outsourcing. And it doesn't even have to be that scary. Some people think when I say outsourcing, they have to hire professional senior web developer or uh, senior designers. But if you want to build from scratch, then yeah, you would have to do that. And a lot of agencies do that. And that's why they charge 10, 20, 30,000 for a website. But if you do it a template, you can charge a fraction of that and do it faster. And you don't even have to do it yourself. And you don't even have to hire other people that you don't know. What you have to do is find a friend in your circle that has some computer experience. So whether he has done maybe some programming in the past or maybe he has Maybe he even play games a lot. So he knows how computer work. He knows how software work. And what you have to do is show him Figma and show him Framer and show him Framer Marketplace. You just show him these three tools and then you show him everything that I show you in this video. So basically how to find a template, how to customize a template and how to change the content. And you might think if it's so easy, then why wouldn't I do it yourself? And it's a pretty valid point unless you have three, four clients who need a website who are not just one page, but 10, 15 uh, pages. And this way it becomes much harder to change the content on all of the pages on 15 pages, then make those 15 pages, bring it back to Framer. Yes, you're not building from scratch in Framer because you have it already pre-built, but you still have to change some pictures, change some elements as I showed you today in Figma. So then it becomes a little bit harder to manage three, four clients with a 15 pages website. So you would want to find a friend who would bring it over to Framer then everything. And it's not hard. Framer is like one day of learning, a very easy learning curve. <clears throat> so once you've done that, you teach him how to bring the picture from Framer, how to bring all of the images from Framer. He can do that. Maybe first you can just change everything in Figma and then he give him the Framer website. He can build everything in Framer. But then when you have way more clients, way more experience, you can actually take another friend and you can teach him how to do the design itself. So you can actually show him how to bring all of the elements here in Figma, how to change the colors, how to change the elements, how to actually take the content from Framer's website, from a client's website and bring it over to Framer. And then you can learn and then you can have two people already working for you. In the future, you can find another friend who will make the project management so you don't have to look for clients, so you don't have to, uh, so you don't have to communicate with clients, so you don't have to always send the invoices, try always be in the chats. And this is how you build a web design business. If you like this video, let me know in the comments. If you want to know and see in-depth video on how to actually do the whole process from start to finish, also let me know in the comments and I will do a video on that.